cero, cuatro, cuatro, siete, tres. Oh, we're done. Oh, did it work? Sally, how do you feel now? Domestic contentment. As controversy rages over the supposed dangers of using the popular and affordable Zen Neuro Calibrator, one question remains unanswered. Whatever happened to baby Jessica? The former victim of a heavily publicized well falling incident, in later life she rose to prominence as a celebrity Zen spokesmodel before apparently suffering highly ironic brain damage while using Zen to treat her childhood trauma. The incident was claimed by Zen detractors as evidence that the Wonder product is somehow unstable or unreliable. Well today on Propagator we're blowing the lid off this story with living proof that the inherent dangers of Zen have been wildly exaggerated. After just a few months of special reparative therapy and the addition of a few experimental brain implants, baby Jessica has become the latest anchor to join the Propagator News team. Welcome aboard, Jessica. Hi, I fell down a well. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Recipe for Success. I'm your host, Betty Lee. Today we're going to be baking a very tasty treat, but first, let me introduce today's special guest, Miss Molly McKinnon from Agricultural District 73613. Come on, Miss Lee. The pleasure is all mine. Now, Miss McKinnon, your family is quite famous in Agricultural District 73613 for your apple pies, aren't they? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, I can't wait to hear your secret. Why don't you start peeling those gorgeous apples and you can tell us all about it. Really, it ain't no secret. I mean, uh, you know, we grow everything on the farm. Apples and wheat and uh, even the sugar beets all, all by ourselves. Hmm, all by yourselves. Even the sugar beets. Did you now? How did you do it, Miss McKinnon? Let me guess. You simply prayed for high yield wheat and pesticide resistant apple trees and God just puked them up. Now ma'am, my lawyer said that if we if I was gonna come on here, that your lawyer, Miss McKinnon? Is your lawyer a molecular biologist? <laughs> well luckily, we have a few of Monsanto's top biotechnicians backstage. Let's see what they have to say about this. This is Propagator. Please stay tuned for even more other stuff. Hello, welcome back. This is Doom Raider. We're counting down the top 10 ways that everyone might die in the 21st century. And rating them up to five stars each in several categories. Impendency. How soon could it happen? Probability. How likely is it? Totality. How completely would mankind be destroyed? Falling to number 10, Space Invaders. And when we say Space Invaders, little green men are the least of your concern. With so many threats to existence right here on Earth, it's easy to forget how hostile the rest of the universe can be. We have found no signs of advanced alien life. But this much is certain. Outer space is not a child-safe environment. Our planet is constantly bombarded by space rocks. Most of them burn up in the atmosphere, but... Every few million years a big one gets through and causes mass extinctions. Astronomers tell us there is no immediate threat. But advanced warning won't make a difference if the object is too large to stop. An asteroid 500 kilometers wide would hit our planet with enough energy to evaporate the oceans and blanket the entire surface with vaporized life. Eradicating all living things. But that is still puny compared to the billions of rogue planets hurtling freely through our galaxy. Many of them larger than Jupiter. But wait. It gets better. We could cross orbits with a black hole. Or the birth of one nearby could kill us all with gamma rays. Even our own sun could turn on us with solar flares large enough to destroy technology. Or disrupt Earth's natural shield against cosmic radiation. 
With so many ways the universe can harm a fragile planet. Maybe the reason no alien race has come to conquer us is because none has survived long enough to try. Enjoy your luck while it lasts. And Please tune in again for more Doom Raider. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Baby Jessica, reminding you once again that nobody is going to love you until you lose some weight. Daddy.